Good day, kids. How are you? I hope that you're feeling great. I am Sir Kim, and welcome to our math class. Last time, napag-aralan natin ang relating triangles to quadrilaterals and one quadrilateral to another. This week, you will learn about determining the missing term in a sequence and finding the missing term in an equation. After going through this lesson, you're expected to determine the missing terms in a sequence of numbers and to find the missing number in an equation involving properties of operations. Ang ating paligid ay puno ng patterns. Ang mga activity na ginagawa natin araw-araw ay may patterns, tulad ng pag-aayos ng laruan o ng mga damit sa loob ng cabinet. Ang number ay ginagamit din to form patterns. Pag tayo nag skip counting, ay gumagawa din tayo ng pattern. Sa pagsisimula natin sa lesson natin, i-define muna natin ang mga terms na makikita o mababasa nyo sa inyong learner's packet. Number sequence. List of numbers arranged in a row. Term. Number in the sequence. Ascending order. Arranging numbers from least to greatest, o maliit na number papalaki. Descending order. Arranging number from greatest to least, malaking number papaliit. Equation. A mathematical sentence that states the quality of expressions. Tignan natin itong number sequence. 21, 30, 39, 48, blank, and 65. Bawat term ay nabubuo by adding 9. 21 plus 9 is 30. 30 plus 9 is 39. 39 plus 9 is 48. 48 plus 9 is 57. So, ang missing term natin ay 57. 57 plus 9 is 65. Let us try another example. 3, 5, 9, 15, blank, 33. Ano kaya ang pattern nito? Sa 3 at 5 ay nag-add tayo ng 2. Sa 5 at 9, nag-add tayo ng 4. Sa 9 at 15 ay nag-add tayo ng 6. So ang pattern natin, plus 2, plus 4, plus 6, anong kasunod? Plus 8. 15 plus 8 is 23. So, ang missing term natin ay 23. Since 2, 4, 6, 8, ang kasunod niya ay 10. 23 plus 10 is 33. Another example. 7, 10, blank, 16, blank. Kung titignan natin, ang 7 to 10 ay nag-add tayo ng 3. So, ang pattern natin ay mag add tayo ng 3 to complete the number sequence. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. 13 plus 3 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. Itong next example natin ay medyo kakaiba. Decreasing ang kanyang number sequence. Kapag ganito, magsasubtract tayo. Itry natin subtract. 45 minus 37 is 8. So, 37 minus 29 is 8. So, ang pattern natin ay magsasubtract tayo ng 8. 45 minus 8 is 37. 37 minus 8 is 29. 29 minus 8 is 21. 21 minus 8 is 13. 13 minus 8 is 5. Now, let's talk about Properties of operation. Distributive property of multiplication over addition. When a factor is multiplied by the sum of two terms, it is essential to multiply each of the two numbers by the factors and finally perform the addition operation. For example, 2 open and close parentheses 4 plus 3. 
didistribute muna natin ang 2 sa mga numbers sa loob ng parenthesis. 2 times 4 plus 2 times 3. 2 times 4 is 8. At 2 times 3 naman is 6. So 8 plus 6 is 14. Ganito naman ang ginagawa kapag may missing term. Blank times open and close parenthesis, blank plus 5. Equals, open and close parenthesis, 10 times 2, plus, open and close parenthesis, 10 times 5. Parehas na tayong may 5 sa parehas na equation. So, ang missing term natin sa kabilang equation ay 10 and 2. Gagamitin natin ang distributive property of multiplication over addition. In-expand natin equation sa left at distribute o i-multiply natin ang 10 sa bawat term sa loob ng parenthesis. 10 times 2 plus 10 times 5. 10 times 2 is 20 plus 10 times 5 is 50. Pwede natin i-add. 20 plus 50 is 70. Same din kung ganito ang gagawin natin. I-add muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. 2 plus 5 is 7. 10 times 7 is 70. Both equations, ang sagot natin ay 70. Commutative property. The order in which you multiply numbers, but it does not change the product. For example, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Tapos, pag binaliktad natin, 4 times 3, ang sagot pa rin ay 12. Same din ito sa addition. Blank plus 12 is equal to 12 plus 9. 12 plus 9 is 21. So, ang missing term natin is 9. 9 plus 12 is 21. Associative property. The way in which factors are grouped in a multiplication problem does not change the product. For example, Open and close parenthesis, 3 times 2 times 5. 3 times 2 is 6, then multiplied by 5 is 30. Same then kapag 3 times open and close parenthesis, 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10, then multiplied by 3 is 30. Sabi natin kanina na hindi nakaka-apekto ang mga numbers na nakagroup sa kanilang product. Another example, blank plus open and close parenthesis, 3 plus 5. Yung kabilang equation naman ay open and close parenthesis, 6 plus 3 plus 5. Isolve muna natin equation dito sa kanan. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. Sa left equation naman ay may 3 and 5. So ang missing term natin is 6. 3 plus 5 is 8. 6 plus 8 is 14. Since grouping of addends that not change the equation. Identity property. Any number multiplied by 1 is equal to the number itself, and any number multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. For example, blank times 240 is equal to 240. Any number multiplied by 1 is equal to the number itself, so ang missing term natin is 1. Another example, 357 plus blank is equal to 357. Any number added to 0 is equal to the number itself. So, ang missing term natin is 0. Ngayon, pwede na tayong magsagot ng mga learning tasks. Learning task number 1. Find the missing term in each of the following number sequence. Learning task number 2. Give the missing number in the equation. Learning task number 3. Find the missing terms in the following number sequence and equation. Learning task number 4. Find the missing terms. Learning task number 5. Use the properties of operation to make the following expressions true by filling the missing numbers. 
check the equation to find out if your answer is correct. Ngayon ay alam mo na kung paano ma-determine ang missing term sa sequence of numbers and sa equation. Tandaan natin para mahanap ang missing term in a number sequence, you must first identify its pattern. Para naman mahanap ang missing term in an equation, dapat ma-determine mo ang property used such as commutative, associative, distributive, and identity. Learning task number 6. Find the missing terms. For our final learning task, fill in the missing numbers to make each equation correct. Sana ay naintindihan mo ang lesson natin this week. See you next week, dito lang sa ating math class.